Are there any potential side effects for men? Um, there are breast and nipple side effects mm -hmm. in some men, uh, where you get like nipple prominence, nipple sensitivity. Right. I don't know about you, but my nipple's sensitive enough. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm JC Mendoza. Welcome to Uncomfortable Questions, where I get to ask a doctor questions that we're all dying to know about but might be a little too embarrassed to ask. And with me as always is Dr. Peter Stahl, who is a board certified urologist and a nationally recognized leader in male sexual medicine. Dr. Pete, always a pleasure to have you, man. Yeah, let's go. All right, so today, while we do usually talk about sexual health in a recreational sense, I kind of wanted to ask you about it more in a reproductive sense. Okay. So there is a lot of fertility options out there for both men and women, obviously, but uh, one that we hear a lot about is Clomid. Oh yeah, that's a great question. And Clomid comes up for fertility, but also comes up for testosterone, right? So Clomid is the name brand for a drug that's been around for a long time called Clomiphene citrate. Uh, it was developed and is FDA approved for female fertility, specifically to uh, promote ovulation. But it turns out that um, Clomid also has an effect in men where it can basically promote testicular function. And you know, testicles do two things, make testosterone and they make sperm. Yeah. So Clomid is used to both raise testosterone levels and as an empiric treatment for male fertility, although the benefit for sperm production is not super clear. Right. How can one thing do both of those things? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. But uh, it turns out that the male and female reproductive systems are controlled by a very, very similar set of hormones and organs. Without getting too much into the details, pituitary, which is the hormonally active part of the brain, mm -hmm. controls ovarian and testicular function. So you kind of use Clomid to trick the pituitary into thinking that like things aren't going so well. Right with either the eggs, the sperm, or testosterone production, and the pituitary's reaction to that is, all right, we gotta like rev things up, let's step on the gas. Right. And when it does that in a man, mm. the result is increased testosterone production and potentially increased spermatogenesis. Oh, okay. But in a woman, it's ovulation, right? And that's how one drug with one mechanism has like two very different effects in both men and women. Yeah, that's that's incredible. I, 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 it makes a lot more sense now, but are there any potential side effects for men taking it? Yeah, so Clomid's been around for a long time. It's been used for men for a long time, and usually it's used in someone that you want to raise their testosterone levels without hurting their fertility. Like a guy with low T and symptoms that's young and wants to have kids can't take testosterone because testosterone causes infertility. It's actually been investigated as birth control in men, and it works. Really? Pretty well, but you asked about side effects. Yeah. So yeah, it definitely has side effects. Uh, sometimes it can cause nipple sensitivity. Um, it's been associated or correlated with uh, some serious blood clotting problems. You know, and the other thing is because it's working through estrogen signaling, which is right. how it affects the pituitary, it has really weird and unpredictable effects. Yeah. Like I have patients all the time that I put on Clomid and they get really awesome testosterone levels, but they don't feel well. Sometimes their sex drive even goes down. Okay. Other people do great and feel better, but many times you get this, these blood tests that look perfect, but you don't get the symptomatic improvements. And then you take that same person, stop the Clomid, put them on testosterone, and you know they feel like a new person. So it's unpredictable. In my opinion, I don't think it works as well, right. but it does preserve fertility and it definitely has a role in male reproductive medicine. Are there any treatment options for male fertility? There um, really are not any medicines that effectively treat male fertility outside of very specific situations where like a hormone's missing and you replace it. The, the management of male fertility is really about lifestyle optimization, surgery for blockages, assisted reproductive techniques like intrauterine insemination or in vitro fertilization. Mm -hmm. But there aren't any medicines that are like magic improvements for male fertility. Understood. So y'all go talk to y'all doctor about that. I'm talking to a doctor right now and I highly recommend it. All right. And uh, actually while we're here, can you look at this thing on my foot? Actually, I actually don't have any insurance. This is the closest I've ever been. So it's like this thing on my big toe, right? And it kind of affects my middle toe a little bit. Yeah. You, look at you know, it. I'm a urologist, right? Yeah, you're gonna do some ology on my foot. That's what I need. I don't really wanna get near your dogs, man. And thank you all at home for watching us. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, follow for more content. Thank y'all so much. Right on the side, right there.